Well, it's a little rainy this weekend, but not even a twister could stop the annual Wizard of Oz Festival in Grand Rapids. Our own Sherelle Moore takes us on a trip down the Yellow Brick Road. The Land of Oz is consistently brought to life every June, thanks to the annual Wizard of Oz Festival in Grand Rapids. It serves as a way to not only celebrate the classic film, but to also commemorate its star, Grand Rapids girl Judy Garland. It's funny because Judy Garland's story is like Dorothy's story. Dorothy from the Midwest swept up by the tornado to this fantastic experience. Judy Garland, a little girl from Minnesota in the Midwest, swept up by, if you will, the tornado of her talent and carried into Hollywood and Broadway and the world's stages. She lived here until she was four, but she made her debut at two and a half. And people have taken great pride in the fact that this little girl that was born here and had her first influences on her life in Grand Rapids went on to become world famous. The festival lasts four days and is always filled with fun events from movie nights to exclusive memorabilia tours. We had a program on news clips from 1989 all the way up to 2003 showing the events that happened all over these years when we had 13 munchkins in Grand Rapids and we had 20,000 people show up for parades and events. The Wizard of Oz Festival has been going on for decades now and fans come from all over the world to partake in it. You can stroll through Judy's house and even learn some trivia. Or you could even take your own stroll down the yellow brick road. This year, audiences were even treated to a special living history performance that brought to life Judy's family's last evening in Grand Rapids. It's years and years since The Wizard of Oz came out, but people still treasure that film. They treasure her singing. They've been inspired by her. People whose hearts have been broken have been lifted up by the joy that she gave them. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Shaw Moore, Lakeland News. The festival is always held in June to commemorate Judy Garland's birthday. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.